of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Right. 
Wow. Thank you, thank you, choristers. Thank you for taking us into the atmosphere of worship. And I believe your faith is elevated to the upper class where you can dialogue with God. Are you sure? Thank you. Yes. With due respect, you have your seats. Yes, the, today is the first Sunday of the year 2022. And I'm pretty sure you still have your package and you are here to receive more into your package. Yes. This New Year's Eve service, we dwelt on time to dialogue with God. Today being the first Sunday of the month of January 2022 going to talk about the great biblical character, the father of faith, Abraham. So based on that, we're going to talk on the secret of a successful dialogue with God. Or rather, let me put it this way, the secret of father Abraham's successful dialogue with God because we look up to him he's the father of all nations father of faith so we look up to him as our role model when it comes to the issue of faith the secret of father Abraham's successful dialogue with God so without taking much of your time I am going to pick three books Two out of these three were talked about yesterday. I'm going to emphasize on them as a reminder. So the first book is same book of Genesis chapter 15 and verse 6. The book of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 8. And finally, the book of 1 Samuel chapter 15 verses 22 to 23. Yes. Without taking much of your time, let me quickly take you there. Because this year is the year that only your obedience to God's commands and total submission to His will can see you through. There are lots alongside with this year. But those who who have conscience that has convinced them that they are in line with obedience to God's command and total submission to His will. This is your year to smile. Genesis. 15 and verse 6. Are you there? Abraham believed the Lord and he credited it to him as righteousness. That's all. Now let me take you to Hebrews Hebrews 11 and verse 8 By faith Abraham when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance obeyed and went even though he did not know where he was going he never asked God, where is the place? 
What is the address of the place? Is it a modern building? Is it a place where there is AC? Is it a place where there is a water bed? I hope there is enough security. He never asked. Upon hearing such command, he obeyed. That is the father of faith, Father Abraham. Now, finally, let me take you to First Samuel. First Samuel, chapter fifteen, and I will take my reading from verses twenty-two to twenty-three. But Samuel replied, "Does the Lord delight in?" burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the Lord to obey is better than sacrifice and to heed is better than the fat of rams for rebellion is like the sin of divination and arrogance like the evil of idolatry because you have rejected the word of the Lord. Take note. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. Such was the scenario that took place when King Saul began to disobey God's instruction, God's command, and adamantly refused to submit to God's will. Prophet Samuel said, and I quote, As you have rejected the words of the Lord, so the Lord has rejected you as a king. Mm. I want you to feel me and I'll feel you. It's like standing there, I'm too far. <laughs> From the three books you have just read, you will agree with me that the secret of a successful dialogue with God is of two folds. Or permit me to put it this way. The secret of Father Abraham's successful dialogue with God Almighty is of two branches, two parts. Part one, obedience to God's commandments. Part two, prayer from a thankful heart. Because God inhabits the praises of his beloved ones. Father Abraham. The father of faith, I mean the father of all nations, took time, I mean was careful enough to observe and realize that obedience to God's commands and prayer from a thankful heart are both interrelated in building one up spiritually. Remember John 4 verse 24 says, and I quote, God is spirit and his worshippers must worship him in spirit. Wow, I, I must bend down and bring it. <laughs> How much will you pay me for bending down and bringing this bed? Your pen is blessed. His worshippers 
must worship him in spirit and in truth. Father Abraham took time. I mean, he was careful enough to observe and realize that obedience to God's commands and prayer from a thankful heart are both interrelated in building one up spiritually. But he was not negligent of the fact that number one is better than number two. He was not ignorant of that. He knew both are essential, but preference was given to number one before two. I mean, Father Abraham knew and was convinced that obedience is better than sacrifice. Prayer is a sacrifice we do in obedience to God's commands. It is when you have obeyed God. Sir, when you have obeyed God, you are in tune with God. You are in line with God's commandments. The confidence to pray will come. Yes or no? Yes. Thank you very much. But today, we so much believe in speaking in tongues. When your son is coming, please, I'm praying. I'm praying. Don't disturb me. Hey, speak to me, Lord. Speak to my ear, Lord. Hey. Father Abraham knew that praying without carefully observing your obedience to God is a mockery of the fundamental principle of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He knew. Obedience to God's commands, total submission to His will for our lives, triggers God's response when we pray. You know, your goal is immaterial, irrelevant without a trigger. Your firearm, you know? By the time you hold the firearm, get ready. One, two, fire. Is it possible for the gun to bring a bullet without you pulling the trigger? The bullets are your blessing. The bullets are good health. The bullets are success. The bullets are breakthrough. The trigger is obedience. Why the God itself is your prayer. In your prayer, quite right, lies everything you want. But something must push it out to go to you. Obedience. Come, madam, with due respect. Just speak out anything that comes to your mouth. Without finding out how cordial is her relationship with God without finding out how smooth is her relationship with God you begin to pray when you pray and God does not hear you because of your obedience someone who has come to steal to kill and to destroy will definitely hear you who is that person mm. Ask seven sons of Skifa and they will tell you. The danger in praying without obeying God first. Abraham knew. See that, Mama? Thank you. Father Abraham, father of faith, father of all nations, knew quite well, quite right, 
that the two essential factors of having a smooth dialogue with God are obedience to God's commands and prayer from a thankful heart. But he never neglected the fact that number one is better than number two. Obedience is better than what? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. I'll be that first Samuel. I'll be that first Samuel. 15. From verse 22. But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices? as much as in obeying the Lord. To obey is better than sacrifice. To heed is better than the fat of rams. You believe that church is a place where you can speak in tongues and go. That is prayer, isn't it? It's a place where you can organize prayer meeting. You shout, you shout, you shout, you go. Whereas in your heart, you are still keeping malice, grudges against your brethren in the same fold. You believe that church is a place where you can gather prayer warriors? Let us pray and pull down the kingdom of darkness. Let us charge against demon. You know, some people are very charismatic. Let us charge against demon. Put down, bulldoze, scatter. Whereas the food of Satan is very close to your mouth. Disobedience is the food of Satan. Rebellious act is the food of Satan. And these are the hindrances to our prayers. When you obey and submit totally to the will of God, your prayer is like a ringing bell in the ears of God. He must listen. Graham, Graham, who is calling me? That is God. He will look, behold, from his throne of grace and see, say, my son. He will assign angels in charge of healing. If it's healing you're asking for, go and minister healing. Lord, break, Lord, Lord, I want to go for this contract. 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 Open the way. Open the way. And he assess you and see obedience. Angels in charge of breakthrough come there. If they need to meet the manager of where you're going, they will possess that manager. And you know what? The manager can never be comfortable until you come. <laughs> when it was time to ordain Samuel, all the hefty siblings appeared first. I mean, uh, David. When it was time to ordain David, all the hefty siblings appeared before who? Prophet Samuel. The first one came with his chest. Samuel looked at him and said, ah, The Lord is not interested in it. <laughs> it is your big chest. Samuel was never comfortable until the right person came. Second one came. Maybe he was into boxing. <laughs> Samuel looked at him and said, Ah. The Lord does not fight with arms and physical strength. Please. <laughs> he went again. Maybe the one that is very educated. You know what I mean? Samuel, how are you? How are you doing? How's the day? Are you doing good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Eloquent speech. Samuel looked at him and said, Oh God, I'm not seeing anointing you this way. <laughs> After the, the siblings that were in the house appeared and were disqualified. Samuel was still not comfortable. He now asked, ah, ah, Jesse, are you telling me these are all your children? Say, hey, hey, hey. Ah, ah, ah. sorry, sorry, sorry. There's one small boy. That one, you just take care of the sheep. You know, we don't abandon him in the bush. It's in the bush. <laughs> it's in the bush. Caring for men, men, men. <laughs> Samuel said, hey, the one you have rejected is the chosen one of God. Someone say hallelujah. What am I trying to do this year? While his elder brothers were busy doing whatever they want without obeying God, the little shepherd 
was busy obeying God in taking care of the sheep. Obedience qualified him for that great and supersonic anointing that you and I are reading about today. Father Abraham knew that obedience to God's command and prayer from a thankful heart are both essential to have a unique and mutual dialogue with God. But he was not negligent of the fact that one is better than two. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Why? Because obedience is an acknowledgement acceptance or total submission to the will of God Almighty regarding him as the highest authority and power in the whole universe and in heaven reigning in glory honor and majesty two regarding him as the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end though he has no beginning he has no end take note regarding him as the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end though he the supreme god we serve has no beginning has no end when you regard him as the beginning and the end of the affairs of your life he will take charge at the beginning the road may look very rough but it's in charge as the beginning and once you take him as the beginning of your affair, he will be moved to go to the end and make it prosperous and successful. Many of you will be very obedient to God this time, but you keep complaining, why is it very rough at this very beginning? Don't worry. God is waiting for you at the end to make you smile at last. Regarding him, number three, as the creator of both material and immaterial. We are the material living in this natural world. Immaterial, celestial beings, spiritual beings who never stopped praising and thanking God because God is very interested in a prayer from a thankful heart. The celestial beings, angels, keep saying, and I quote, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was, who is, and is to come. What is prayer, you may ask? Listen. Prayer is a divine acknowledgement of a supreme being who oversees the affair of mankind here on earth. In other words, it's a divine acknowledgement of the existence of God Almighty and total dependence upon his capacity to reward those who earnestly or diligently seek him. Why did God say, I should bring out this message? It's because of what is on ground and what will be coming up this year, 2022. God says he's tired of waiting. The sword, and I told you, mighty sword, dazzling with fire around, is pointing on this surface air. There's an evil liquid in circulation. And God says, that the only thing that can save people from this evil liquid that is in circulation is obedience and total submission to his will. 
when this evil liquid enters your body without God, <laughs> it will go a long way to change God's nature to artificial nature. You need God's backup this year. You need God's support this year. Everywhere, pollution, evil air, evil air, evil air. Remember the air you have in your room is AC. It's not enough to protect you. You need God's atmosphere of worship to protect you. To stop the evil air that is everywhere. You can see. You can see the evil air. Every air, everywhere. Air. The air is polluted with evil air. But God promised to filter it for his children through their obedience and total submission to his will this year. This year, children of God will smile. Our obedience to God's command triggers God's response when we pray. In other words, our obedience to God's command and total submission to His will builds in us the unshakable confidence that when we pray, God will answer us. If you are not obedient, the confidence to pray will not be there. Even though you may want to show charisma, to shy away from the conscience, telling you, your God, keep quiet, you cannot pray. Say, hey, I want to tell you, the Lord is very close to you. Your conscience is telling you, your God, you're not qualified to pray. I want to tell you, hey, the Lord is close to you. And you as a human being, you'll be carried away by charisma. Whereas the person showing that charisma, his conscience or her conscience is... But he doesn't want you to know that. Tell your neighbor, hold on to your obedience and submission to the will of God in order to receive the promises and benefits of Calvary. God Almighty has promised his children this year, 2022. Thank you. May the Lord bless his word.